Hello, this is the Armchair Inc. podcast. My name is David. My name's Evan. And uh, I think this is the fourth one. <laughs> Last count, right? Yeah. <laughs> the topic for this one, or the question, the question that I'm going to put to you because I don't know anything about why you want to talk about this stuff. <laughs> right. So, the question is, why is you? What? Yeah. Why is you meaning, what is, what is people? <laughs> what? What is a person? I yeah, because you wanted to talk about all this nerdy AI, yeah, we sci-fi we, shit. We both saw Chappie. <laughs> this... You wanted to talk about this before Chappie, though. Yeah, but it, it fits in nicely. Uh, we both saw Chappie. Both thought <laughs> it was a great movie. Turns out apparently we're wrong. Um, won't talk about that though. Yeah, it's the only downside of going to see something without seeing any trailers. And then not reading any reviews or anything like that. You're like, oh, I enjoyed that. Yeah, you, you're could, like, you could be flawed as a person. Yeah, yeah, you're like, oh, no, you're not supposed to enjoy it. It's only got like 7.5 stars. Yeah. You're an idiot. Yeah. I've, I still don't know how Hobbit is better. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> so, so, yeah, like, I assume you just want to go through, like, we're not even defining characteristics of humanity. Because that's fucking, that's crazy. You're not going to, you're not going to do that. No. <laughs> okay. The first question is, do you think, um, are we going to have a different defining, are we going to have a more and more exact definition on a human life? Are we going to like keep adding in different parameters that it's going to be this weird definition? Because I don't even know what it's defined as now. Uh, well, now it's pretty straightforward. Is there a definition? Uh, like a lim- like a limiting one so that a robot ar- an artificial intelligence couldn't like, be a person like the game Hangman but in reverse it, what? where you go back to like just a spleen and you're like that's not a human <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah the, well, well I got my appendix taken out I'm still a person like that's, that's that was your argument there <laughs> are you saying paraplegics and people day <laughs> No, but I'm like, do you know? Are we gonna have like a different, a different definition on it? I think, I think we will. Because it has to. Everything just gets broader and broader. The definitions of stuff, in terms of people. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, everything, everything gets more acceptable with time. And I think even robots. Will be like ah, let them let them in. Just let come on. There are people too. People people will say that. Yeah. Eventually, I think that will happen. There will be a liberal robot movement. <laughs> yeah, um, but I think it's it's it all depends on whether the I don't think they will become complex in the same way that we will we do. Like. We have a lot of stuff that's a, a holdover from, you know, just stuff that wasn't lost over the course of human evolution. Monkey stuff. Yeah, we just like... Monkey business. Yeah. we. <laughs> yeah, we didn't lose all the monkey business. No, but like uh, a lot of our conventions and traditions and stuff revolve around like reproduction. You can't... Robots will have no concept of reproduction. It's not like they they both like throw some nuts and bolts in a cup and that's a robot. Like how quickly did you go to jizz? I'm just checking the time. <laughs> time to jizz. Four minutes into jizz. Look, no, <laughs> no genetic nuts and bolts, Dave. It's a metaphor. Um, it was an analogy, sorry. Yeah, I wonder if that'd be a weird thing. That'd be like, oh, we're just going to separate our software into two different things and we'll just we'll just mix and match we'll just patch yeah yeah we'll go off like a base thing and we'll patch yeah. different bits in from both of our software yeah but then, like then you get like you do you will get like they're just gonna be super perfect it's just yeah I, I don't know like I, they they won't I'm gonna go back on what I said they won't be designed defined as people but people will call for it I think for a certain time 
until they completely outstrip us in every way. Yeah, I don't want to be around for like when I'm going to be accused of being racist <laughs> to a to a to, to a robots or <laughs> yeah, what's an AI thingy? Yeah, racist to like your lawnmower or just a widget. <laughs> That's all you'll ever be. Widget. And you're like, no. What's, what's you get the, fired for that. What's the robot vacuum cleaner? Henry? No, Roomba. Yeah, you'll just be... Yeah, people... There'll be cases. Roomba versus... <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Roomba versus Wilson. But uh, I think that's... It's kind of unknowable. Like, it's totally... Well, not kind of. Totally unknowable. But, yeah. But... I think it leads into a funny question of um, when we can start to create, you know, the, you know, what's his name, Ray Kurzweil, Kurzweil, he talks about the well, singularity uh, between, you know, humans and robots, like, becoming uploaded consciousness and stuff, like the thing in Chappie. Yeah. Yeah. When we get to that point, how do you put a limit, like... What if you could just patch in being better? Sorry, I knocked the whole set over. <laughs> um, uh, what if you can just patch in like being better into your consciousness? Like that, it, with the scene when we ruin Chappie. There's a, there's a bit with up, uploaded. Nobody's going to hear this until they've seen Chappie. This <sighs> Chappie will be out for like 10 years before anybody stumbles across this shit. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I like, I like the illusion of... <laughs> Um, we drew a face on the microphone just to feel like there's weird people um, like when you can just patch in being better upgrades yeah like th- then people will just upgrade just keep upgrading like and no, everyone will be exactly perfect exactly the same kind of like in that uh, episode of Black Mirror where you had your full memory yeah, yeah. Then you can just rewind and play up. it at any time. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just all speculation on how people are going to use it. Like You don't know. You really yeah. don't have a clue. Yeah, but... Like, it's weird to see how weird life is now. Because like, there's some stuff you come across on the internet and you're like, what? what is this? Where, when did this come about? Like, <laughs> How does this exist? Like, Or if you try and explain it to somebody else not even a, not even a caveman you were like oh yeah I was watching this series of a guy who plays a computer game you know and he talks over it and that's his full time job do you know there's there's so much like mm. weird stuff <laughs> like that that doesn't really make sense do you know it does now yeah. but like fucking 10 years ago that couldn't possibly be a thing yeah, but it's it's still it wasn't interfering in any biology. Okay, yeah, but I just mean that like we'll predict some stuff now. Oh, you yeah. Or there will be sci-fi, you know, not us personally predicted, but the the sci-fi stuff now will be wrong. But yeah, it's right. like when they look back at fucking Star Trek and they're like, "Oh, the device in his hand and it did all these things and it's oh, it's your iPhone." Yeah. Do you know, it's going to be more of that kind of a thing. Do you know when you just take stock and you'll be like, holy shit, things are weird. <laughs> yeah. Um, you probably take till you're about fucking 30 odd or something like that to be able to do it because up until then you're just like, ooh, ooh, look at all the things. This is just what you do. You Snapchat now. That's what you do. <laughs> and you're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't that's, understand. that's like a really funny divide because anyone over the age of 24, I would say just has no use for snap just doesn't use it at all i know some people that use it really yeah but like i don't talk <laughs> <laughs> no like i wouldn't be snapchatting nobody like yeah but like that guy's a billionaire now or something isn't he everyone who has any app is a billionaire the yeah i think so he's one of the new ones the new ones the 150 or something um what was i gonna ask you yeah the thing, a question I want to ask about DNA, like when we be, when we're able to create artificial DNA. Okay. Okay. Yeah, synthetic DNA. Um. 
will like will we be allowed to put that into people do you know what I mean just a new gene just like let's see what let's see what it does sorry my brain was going straight to just so <laughs> synthetic <laughs> DNA and I'm like why would you do that um will you be allowed or yeah. will you be but then would you be able to make a person out of completely synthetic DNA like just mix and match I don't know yeah but then you're creating like perfect people yeah it's it already happened I know it was an anomaly <laughs> <laughs> this guy this guy um, be so no well like that's all going to be you know regulated and debated and stuff like that by the time they get near to it but there is going to be a couple of instances of it at some point in time this is going to happen and everyone's going to hate it you know genetic modification is is going to happen at some point like there will be a swing I know yeah but like it's just if they can solve a lot of problems with that yeah I I just wonder will it like me worrying about that will that be like people 50 years ago maybe I should go back further but worrying about like gay marriage and stuff do you know what I mean no everybody was always worried about that hot topic put it in the bible (laughs) day one but do you think like do you ever think that will you be on like the wrong side history (laughs) um no, you can be way out, like, of predicting times, I would imagine. The times of when these things are going to oh, be yeah. an issue. Yeah, but... That's why I, I'd say it's going to happen, but I have n- not a notion of predicting... Whether it be good or bad. A, a time. You're not putting a... No, a good or bad or a time, like... Yeah. It's, it's funny. Like, people are compared to go to space. Like, there's how many, how many billionaires? Could you not buy a person? That sounds bad. I meant like make a person, <laughs> make a person from scratch. Can't buy a person. No. <laughs> Whoa. Depends on what country, and I suppose. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, well, it's technicality kind of stuff. For a while, like. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that was some vagary. <laughs> yeah. Um, another thing. This now this is messed up. Um, there was a thing there was some summit or something mountain yeah gotcha yes there was some mountain but it was about uh, it was either use of AI for or something for treating paedophiles oh yeah do you remember that I heard that yeah was it was it robots or was it I'm gonna say it was the Scandinavians they're very yeah. I no, they were creating like. Uh, I think they used the word virtual reality. Yeah. Yeah. I. Uh, so. What do you think? Do you think that will just that will just come in? Like on, eventually on your phone. No, no. I as a as a treatment, like a, not a treatment, but. Uh, I don't know. That's a really hard question. Like. Yeah, it sucks. That's a question. Like it's that's just an off. That's an un- unanswerable. I think it will. I think it will come in, and it'll it'll be used and. Do you know, try. Okay, well, I give my same for any kind of sci-fi answers. It will, yeah, but I don't know when. Oh, don't know when. Just commit to something that you don't know anything about. <laughs> just commit, would you? Oh, but no, that one's no just information. like that one's too close that they're actually trying to do it now. That I'm like, oh, you yeah, know, like, anything. But do you think you need time for this kind of shit? Like you just, yeah, you because you haven't, you know, researched and wrapped your brain around. That's a whole new way of thinking. Like I can, I can think differently about stuff. But sometimes you're just kind of like it's too not far. set that's, in your ways. But you're just you're just not like yeah, you're not prepared for it. That's one question or idea that I find is just a little bit too out too far out for people yeah in terms of that ethics not like yeah because it's such a shock to your mindset do you know that you just can't yeah you can't grab it like do you know what kind of an analogy could you 
fucking have that your brain is just doing something wrong. Yeah. Does it? Yeah, but it's a weird thing that, like, it's it's accepted as a sexuality, or if it is. Um, no, it's. I think it's accepted in as a sexuality, but as long as you don't do anything at all. Yeah, I'm trying to compare it to something. I I don't I, I don't think you should say I'm any do, words. No, I'm trying to. <laughs> no, I'm trying to create like an analogy of your brain just doing something incorrectly. I was like, if you came to a door and you just like rammed your head through it, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's just like a malfunction of the brain. I'm just trying to like understand some kind of way to get into that mindset where I could possibly answer your question like it's just it's you know it's too far out there yeah okay <laughs> why what do you think I was gonna say no I just I just I just like these questions because they're they're go on question time with that shit Qu- what's question time is, is that, is, that show? A, is that a segment what <laughs> that's like a, a show for questions <laughs> really no you're in the crowd and you no, ask a uh, question question is, time is that really a show was that ever a show was like on Norty one or some shit oh Christ Aiden. like there was no other show around it it was just ask a question might have been on before prime time was and there, now thinking about prime time was, was just like was there points what was the no I think it was like prime time de- oh uh, was the de- debate <laughs> okay I'm not sure. In my mind, I had a kids show. I was just like, kids, it just it's question, question time. No, it was like political <laughs> shit. All oh, right, right, fair enough. Um, yeah, but then prime time is just like it's so literal. It's like when's it? When are we going to put it on? Prime time. What are we going to call it? Prime time. <laughs> <laughs> you filled yeah. out the form wrong. But sure. <laughs> what do you call the news? Six one news. What time's it on? Six one. Just. You don't, oh, I suppose it is. There's no, there's no, there was no competition. They were the first there. They, <laughs> it's like how, it's like how kids name like uh, cuddly toys. If it's a monkey, they name it monkey. I bet they get another monkey. They're like, they're like, ah, oh. George. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Same with same with some people and their kids. They just, the monkeys are called George. Curious George. George of the jungle. Oh no, he wasn't a monkey. Oh, and mighty Joe Young was called Joe. I thought they were all called George. Don't mind that. We'll cut that. No. George of the Jungle. Was George of the Jungle not a person? Brendan Fraser's question. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. I thought that George of the Jungle was a monkey. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So there's, Whoops. There's, so there's one George. And the guy from okay. um, Planet of the Apes. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, no. He was Caesar. Mm. I'm just trying to think of a monkey that's called George because otherwise my brain doesn't work. Yeah. No, but you were asking me about pedophiles. Pedophiles. <laughs> I'd say that was too quiet actually. Here. I, I think check. I think you said that at like you know that ASMR <laughs> level of speaking. So someone just like shivered when you said pedophiles. That's the thing that I'm afraid of. ASMR. ASMR. I'm like, I'm sure a lot of people. It will um, it'll work for a lot of people mm. and I don't care. I don't want to have another thing. Do you know? I'm like... You, what? You you can occupy all your time. You yeah. I've, that. I've no free time. Yeah. I don't want to have that thing as well. Like, But have you ever, have you ever listened to any of it? No, I'm not even going to... A lot of it's... Does, it's just like opening a bag of crisps... And or it's just people doing very sounds like infuriating normal things. And yeah, we know from microphones that you have to be like they're probably about ten miles away from the fucking microphones. Just up by Christmas, like, <laughs> ah! sounds yeah. like the worst thing ever. Yeah, and we're gonna demonstrate now. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, that thing. I think meditation is gonna be big in a while because I think a, a lot of this like. Even we're fucking making stuff to put up on the internet. Do you know, like, there's so much stuff. Who needs it? You don't even need this to be listening to this. If you're listening to yeah. it, I don't know what you're this, doing. Like, this is how you sell stuff. Don't listen. I don't know what you're doing. Probably med- sit in a dark room, turn off all the lights, just <laughs> yeah. sit there for a while. Yeah. One of the most ironic things ever is articles online 
about how to fall asleep. It's just like, what? Don't Google it. <laughs> Don't Google it ever. What? You did Google it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, no, I found it, but like... There's a, After yeah. entering how to fall asleep. <laughs> no, but... Uh, was it on wiki answers or how to answers? No, I just click... I, I, sad person, I just click things. <laughs> right? <laughs> Fuck you. It pops up, I click it. That shade of blue just sets off something in the head. I just hit it. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, uh, but don't be telling people they shouldn't be listening. It's a bad idea. How's it going to hurt? They're not listening, they aren't. Leave. <laughs> they Leave. Aren't. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, I think definitely meditation, because there's going to be a serious backlash. To, unless people can, only if it's for people that had lives before the internet. I mean, were a life before the internet. Um, we just can't assimilate to that this shit. There's just too much. But I, yeah. I don't know if if younger people will be able to keep up with the amount of stuff in your brain, and yeah. the not switching off thing. Yeah. Just so weird. It's so weird to me. That like, there's no escape in it. Like you could watch stuff. Like you could just be a vegetable. Like one of those people in Wally. What was the or the Black Mirror again Black Mirror yeah Black Mirror is a great show that yeah I didn't watch that up until like this year but um no oh, um but the one where you're just like you're watching content and you cycle a bike just to watch content like yeah it's by breaking it down yeah yeah but uh so you wonder you wonder will people be able to navigate that like people who never had experience without it or before it I think yeah it'll cause a lot of issues where people will feel a bit lost yeah like I'm probably like people born my year are some of the last people to be before it because I hit pu- say I hit puberty before I got the internet you hit puberty when? I was like wow. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> Should have said we would have had a cake. Yeah. <laughs> do, do people do that? Oh fuck! <laughs> Put a dick and balls candle in it. <laughs> Way. <laughs> so it's the top of it. Just a tiny dick. And balls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's only good if you're a man. They only celebrate if you're a man. If you're a woman, they're just showing you in the corner. They're like, get out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the one of the most. I joke. What was the thing? Yeah. No, the pregnancy cakes, have you ever seen them? Or people showing, like, you're having, what is it? Uh, baby showers? What are they called? Baby showers. Is that a thing? Is yeah, for called? when you were having a baby. It's like a, like a, you get, like a stag party for a baby or something. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, babies in their ears. It's like Tupperware party, but with little clothes. All right. Oh, uh, they even have Tupperware, you wouldn't even understand what that is. I do know what Tupperware is. Or as my home ec teacher used to call I don't think they do that anymore. I think it's more of an Ann Summers thing. What's an Ann Summers thing? They have Ann Summers parties, not Tupperware parties. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I took you my baby showers. I was like, what? I don't know what these things are. <laughs> Look, you have a lot to learn and Googling them isn't going to help. <laughs> Just... But what was Ann about baby showers for? I don't know. I don't remember. That. And that's a bad name of a thing. That's one of those things that's just named badly. <laughs> Baby showers. So where do you think? Yeah. So where do you think that I'm like, oh, what did you go for? Like a really quick shower? Just in the baby shower. <laughs> Wee baby shower. Yeah. Is that you just when you wash your hair, when you stick your head in? Or you only use Johnson's baby <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just do all the regular baby things. Pseudo cream your ass. <laughs> the the topic of this this podcast is yeah. is what is you? Yeah. If you're, if you're asking me, I'm gonna start talking about some weird <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, that's actually um that's a no feeling bit. What is you? He was like walking down the street and somebody some like hoodies went up to him. He's like, "What is you?" <laughs> And he didn't know how to answer it. Yeah. <laughs> of course, thinking through it too much. Yeah. 
Um, why was that? I can't remember why I was on about baby showers. Yeah, the whole point of me bringing up the topic of conversation is to just get off that track because that was just like, that was lunacy. I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> Pedophiles, baby showers, all in one. Look, they weren't like consecutive sentences. It was fine. Baby shower. No, it's gone. That's totally lost. I'm sorry that that train of thought was lost. So glad. I yeah. apologise. Oh. So yeah, the only thing that I had for for this when you mentioned it was the um, the whatever the deep think, um, they made a program, uh, and it basically learned how to play Atari games. Oh yeah. So Pac Man stuff like that. So they they didn't tell it how to complete the games. It just gave it the information that the pixels were pixels. And that it had to get a high score. And I think it was like half them. I think there was like 45 games. And I think, you know, about 22 of them. They performed mm-hmm. better or equal to, you know, the best the of best. human players. Yeah. Which is, which is just crazy. Like that, that was just really worrying because it just, I know it's a computer playing a computer mm-hmm. game. <laughs> yeah. But just given it no other information that it just adapted that quickly. Yeah. Even yeah. though there was only Frogger and Pac-Man. Like. Shit game. Yeah. <laughs> Soup. Soup beat me a Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> 1v1. <Hey. laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that is fucking... Eh. Is it scary? Or is it just like the computer keeping track of itself? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's built out of programming language and the things are some sort of code yeah. so it's plus like you're talking about like if you were a computer your perception of time would be so slow be so slow like if you think oh, of, shit, if you think of, of the clock speed of a computer compared to the clock speed of a human yeah that fast <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> But like How fast am I going now? <laughs> I just start running around the room. How fast am I now? <laughs> but like yeah, would your perception of time would probably I never be. thought of that, but yeah. Yeah. No, because they always say that about like bugs and birds and stuff, that their perception of time well, everything is different, but especially smaller things probably have a much everything oh. feels a bit slowed down. Yeah, it's like, because when you have... Um, it's like being Jackie Chan. Yeah, he invented a new word. What? what? Oh. In English or in Chinese? Was it Doyong or something? Dong? Yeah, it was something like <laughs> Dong, that. It was like D-U-Y-O-N-G or okay. something. Okay, what does it mean? Um, they don't really, it doesn't really translate. It's a new character, like. But it doesn't really translate. I read the article on oh, it. Oh, invented a new character. Okay, yeah. Yeah, but it, I don't think... He, I think he said it in like a hair commercial. <laughs> a few years back. <laughs> I ain't going to have to I ain't have to learn like Mandarin just to figure out the story. You fuck so, me. <laughs> so he... So he... Um, he watched call it. He said it in the ad. I think it was about like... He said his hair was like... Duong. So it's kind of like... Onomatopoeic... And they gave, like, the whole point of the article was that nobody really can understand or can explain what it is. Yeah. It's just a new thing. Um, they, they gave two examples. It was, like, that um, kitten is very duong or... What was the example that they give? But, like, it didn't clarify it in any way, shape, or form. Like, you could just fill in the blank in any in any way, shape, or form. So it's all about of so like shiny? I don't know. That's I, that's I, what you'd have in a hair ad, like shiny. Yeah, but would a kitten be very shiny? Say they're shiny. <laughs> I don't, don't hang around with kittens. <laughs> I don't test them for luminosity or luminosity. Um, so, lumens. But yeah, no, those are just new words. That's Jackie Chan. This is funny. You kind of mentioned Jackie him. Chan. But yeah, the because w- when you see a bird like being filmed. Like, we see stuff at... Like, what frame rate do we see stuff at? We see it at, I think, 
Is it like 28 or something like that? Like 20, tw- 28 frames oh, no, per no, second. Oh no, what am I saying? No, it's like 22 because films are 24 and then they seem smooth or something like that. Yeah. It's in the 20s. Why do games run higher than that? Um. It is a smooth... Oh, yeah, it is a smoothness issue. We can... Maybe we can see more. We can, we can see a lot more, but our brain fills in the rest. Maybe that's what it is with 24 frames. It fills in. Oh, it's just that because it's a 48 is a multiple of 24, it must be some kind of... It's it's just another frame in between. But we must be able to perceive that then. I wonder. What are, what are actual... The frame rate of our eyes is. Or our breasts. We'll look it up. We'll look it up. The point of this podcast is not to be educational. It's just to Blood. talk shit. Yeah. No, ask questions. But, um... Incisive. Yeah, because when questions. you think... If it is 24 frames per second... Mm. That we can see something. Yeah. Like, how fast are our calculations? But does... What? I think it's like 150... Is it kilobits per second? That a human can process? Or is it gigs? I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, there's someone put a number on it. How much we can process. Oh, I know that it takes four milliseconds for information to get from your ears to your brain. And 20 to get to your from your eyes. Hmm. Yeah. So. You hear shit before you see it. But, but you see shit before you hear it. Because. Sound moves slower, slower than light. Oh, I wonder, is that a kind of a balancing thing? What do you mean, balancing? To balance out those two things? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. No, I just, I just don't... I just think it's like length of cord affecting... You know, just your... <laughs> your um, cochlea to your brain is probably a shorter... Yeah, but why? But why... You gotta evolve from from some kind of because your eyes be useless if they're put where your ears are. <laughs> <laughs> no. Who wants not two if e- we move? Who wants faster? two ears in the front of their face? Not if we twitched and you'd like, what like a chicken? Yeah. yeah. Um. Did we, uh, yeah. No. You're criticizing the design of humans. No, I'm not. I'm saying what it's was designed like think? that to balance to balance the the rate at which. Because most stuff seems like it's happening at the same time. Nah, that's just... That's just because they're both crazy fast. Fair enough. I just think, like, light is... 300... 300 million? No. Yeah, meters three, per second. 300 million meters per second. So... No, it's not a million. It is. It's like eight zeros. Or, yeah, eight, eight zeros. Three and then eight zeros. Three by ten to the eight meters oh, per second. I thought, I thought it was four. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, Almost thought you were serious. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I just, I don't think it's balancing at all. Fair I don't. Enough. It was just a thought. I was just throwing it out there. I'm just saying, show it up your eyes. Just <laughs> floating it. What do we got? Oh yeah, I wrote down. Right, I wrote down. Commodification of behaviors. Yeah, this sounds scary. I don't understand what this. What you mean by it? But it's a lot less scary when I just say what things are commodifications of behaviors. Or in my, this is totally out of my own mouth um so things you do are commodities no i'll just i'll just give you example porn is a commodification of a behavior okay uh biscuits you, youtube is like friendship do you get what i'm saying because people are if you if you see people they get very people get much more fanatically into youtube people than yeah. they do celebrity celebrities yeah, I feel. 
Yeah. Um, and then there's these weird... I, I say weird because, <laughs> you know, I'm not from there. Japanese love sim games. Have you ever seen any of that? Oh, yeah. I played them all. Yeah, yeah. It's the one thing I love in life. I touch her and she goes, eh. <laughs> love. <laughs> yeah. But those, th- like, those are creepy as all hell. Okay, they're commodifications of behaviour. Yeah. So what isn't commodifications of behaviour? The whole thing works on people like gold. What? Like in gold. Shiny thing, putting a value on gold. Like in gold. Yeah, gold isn't really worth what it's worth. It's just because we like it. And it's rare. Ish. (laughs) Yeah, but I don't think that would be called... I don't know. Maybe behaviour is the wrong word, but... You get how it's different. You mean direct... Directly, it's it's a behaviour that that the money is coming from. It it replaces the social, social interaction with, like, a better version of it. Oh, okay. It's like YouTube... You you have YouTube friends because your real friends are shit. Okay. That, that idea, or people watch porn because their girlfriend's shit in their, you know, <laughs> do you know, or the the Japanese where what they say about the Japanese um, love sim game is really interesting because it's it's the idea that they're kind of they work like twelve hours a day. Most <laughs> Japanese people. Yeah. Not the love sim characters. <laughs> Like Jesus, how are they, how are they getting breaks? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, then they, so they barely have time for actual people. Yeah. And even then, a lot of them like live at home for a long time. Till like the age of thirty, and it's not unusual, for uh, the, for people to be going out with someone, and they go to like a sex hotel that's paid by the hour, and all people do is go there and have sex. That's all they do. Mm. Yeah, it's creepy. But then some people are like, it's not worth it trying to mess about with a, ha- trying to have a girlfriend uh, while I'm still climbing a corporate ladder. There's just no time for it. There's no time for it. I work like 12 hours a day, um, technically, and then probably more because of, you know, travel and yeah. trying to get ahead by working at home. So they end up spending like Maybe an hour over the course of the day with their girlfriend, but it's on their DS or whatever. So they just flip it open and they're like, eh. Because they see it as a as a vital requirement to a human life. And they f- they fulfill that. Yeah. Or is it, are they looking at it that way or is it just something they actually enjoy? They actually enjoy it. They, but they, they look for it. That's the reason it's a thing. Oh like, yeah, but are they fully aware that they're looking for it because it's completely lacking from their lives? Like, yeah. Yeah. All right. So the, from what I've read about it, it seems it's accepted. It's not like, oh, these games are great. And you're like, you know, that's just because <laughs> there's no human. No, I don't. Life. I don't think they're thought of as game games. Like they're okay, not. They're, they're not for enjoy. Like there's, 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 you know, there's weird ones that are like kind of weird sexual kind of. I heard about one with a pigeon. One with a pigeon. Uh. Your boyfriend's a pigeon or something. <laughs> that's the only one I've heard of. That's what I want. That one sounds um, like fun though. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, like love, like these love some games are like specifically non-sexual or mostly non-sexual. It's like really weird because it's normal interactions. Yeah. Do you know, like just how are you? <laughs> that's cre- that's creepy. No, yeah. and the so the character creation thing isn't like, you know, create a goblin with giant boobs. Like you can't do that. <laughs> You can only create people within quite a narrow but realistic um, pr- set of proportions. Crazy. Yeah. So it's a... Like on the outside it looks like a uh, kind of seedy sexual weird thing. When you go into it it's the saddest. It's so sad. Like I don't even... I don't, that's one of those things that I'd rather not know. Yeah. I, I, I have a lot of those things that I say to people. Just like... Like this... There's like two things I've said to already that are like, I just don't want to know. Yeah. Can you have that? Do you like that? And you're like, no, I just don't want to know that. Can you draw a line on it? No. no. What do you mean? Don't I don't want to know? I just 
I'll just no. Just pick. That's fine. <laughs> like I don't know. I already know enough stuff that's <laughs> just as bad or just as sad. Yeah, there's a few things that I'm just like I just I don't want to know. Yeah, what was the thing? I was uh when you're like leaving the shop and you see magazines and you're like you instantly read them and you're like, I don't want to know. I'd rather not know. Yeah. I censored myself. Um I was not on this fucking No, not on this. Fuck you. Um <laughs> the I was kinda of trying to construct uh the most effective charity ad, which is like a disgusting thing to think about. But like purely from a marketing point of view. Um sounds horrendous. It sounds horrendous, yeah. I wanted to hit the two things of that you need for proper like memorability. It's intellectual engagement. So you, basically you ask people a question and the harder, the more complicated it is, the better. Okay. But it can't go over a certain threshold because then people won't even... Yeah, because you're nearly losing me here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people won't even make the, the start at the question. And then like an emotional, something emotional to respond to. Like it, and the stronger the emotion is, the better. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty pretty obvious, but it is I'm terrified of what you're gonna say is what you came up with. With uh, that with that fucking robotic logic. Are you sure? Are you sure you're human? I just don't even <laughs> think I should be asking you these questions. I'm not a psychopath. I took the test, right? I'm not a psychopath. <laughs> it's called a I'm not even saying psychopath. It's called a PCLR. <laughs> I'm saying robot. No, I just it, as a as a little thought experiment, that's what it did. It was. I have emotions. Fuck you. Okay. Um. What's your think so? So you ask. No, you go. This mother has two kids. One is Sophie's st- choice. Stole the idea. I don't know if I have yet. But you got to pick one. Yeah, you got to pick one. Yeah, it's Sophie's choice. But one's one's good and one's. Like, one's smart and able-bodied and all that, and then the other one's sick. Oh, well, I don't know what the choice was, and I think one of the kids was ginger or something, but... I no, I... Um, was that it? No, 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 but, like, she had to pick between two kids. I've never seen it, because that's one of those things I just don't want to know. Yeah, Sounds but... awful. I just imagined that as, like, you started off with, with like, regular, regular Westerner kind of family you know normal clothes and then you just you just cut to a sub-saharan africa thing for like for a concern or something yeah is it fucking evil like yeah try to that but it'll work that's the that's the problem with it, that you can that you can market charity it's big business yeah and like i think it's disgusting but I can also figure out a way of improving manipulation of people or make possibly a good ad for manipulating people. Yeah. I don't know why you're thinking that though. Because I was just thinking about marketing and stuff. <laughs> Is it wrong? I'm probably. Marketers. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if do we need any more. But yeah, what I was... I censored myself. I didn't ask mom the question. Because <laughs> I usually, you know. <laughs> Terrify her. No, but I was like, <laughs> sometimes I ask her shit questions like, but I, I, some stuff I just censor out because I'm like, I'm not, no, mom doesn't need to know that or <laughs> think about that at all. That's an inside thought. <laughs> yeah. Inside I, my brain I, thought. I, like, I have, yeah, that happens sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it happens a lot. It's not inappropriate. It's just super dark, like. Yeah, it's... Oh, it's super dark. Yeah. Yeah. That it is... People just don't need to know. Yeah, it's a weird thing that, like, you can sense... Like, you automatically sense yourself in different situations. With stuff like that, or just with everything? With everything, like... Mm. My normal day-to-day language is usually about awful, awful shit, like... <laughs> Just yeah. bizarre swearing and just saying the wrong thing, which yeah. is funny. Just oh, yeah. like the worst wrong thing. Yeah, but that's because you, you're listening to news or current, maybe not current affairs, but like 
yesterday's what appearance. we what we call whatever was on the internet you yesterday yeah, whatever you call that is that news or current affairs I, no that seems just, to be just, what everything is that's just but that's what we were like we we talked about that for a good amount what Jackie Chan's hair yeah Do you know it's unavoidable yeah but that's because it's remarkable like it's it's this remarkable thing I did this is my like my favourite thing that I've ever said <laughs> like the distinction between things being remarkable in you know regular use of the word or remarkable as in you can remark upon it like literal that's I like making that distinction because the things that are successful aren't what people would call remarkable most of the time it's when things are you can talk about it and you can have a million comments underneath it yeah that things are successful yeah there is no such thing as a bad review now it's yeah it's just it's just uh, like of course that's always been around but it's even it's even more powerful now that any all publicity is or no publicity is bad publicity yeah that's why that fucking yeah because you were talking about this the last day and then I was at about Piers Morgan who was just (laughs) what did I call him the personification of clickbait yeah. Like his whole demeanor and it, his he has no opinion on anything. His opinion is just to go the other way in in just far enough to really irritate people. But never get in trouble. And he's he just gets paid for like he's the editor of the Daily Mail website. And that's just to like that's the whole point of that is just to click and click and click and just click in, grab a headline, click in, not even read it and just that's it back. Like. Just read the headline. Yeah, yeah, but that's click on stuff. That's that's the ethos of the whole internet, though. Well, no, it's not as. Yeah, it is, but there is some people have kind of weird, weird moral or ethical things around it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of people. There will be get people will get more and more educated about it. Um, CGP Grey brought out a video today. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched it. Yeah, that's pretty much. That's that was your idea. The remarkable thing. It's like the more you can comment on it. Yeah, I I watched it, or I li- I listened to it. I didn't watch it. It was in like a playlist. And I was oh, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's the same idea. It's the main complaint about things on the internet that popularity is based on views, not even views, but just yeah, yeah. The, whereas you qualify stuff as well especially on YouTube by the literal views if you click on something like this and it'll have like two views on it because yeah, it was just off. me checking it on two different devices hmm. that's hmm. it so like yeah, you know you'll, you'll, you're you'll, never gonna you're not gonna click on it because you can see the it needs about a thousand for me to do it speaking of disgusting YouTube videos <laughs> no not CGP Grey he's great <laughs> but uh I saw one and it was homeless man like comforts homeless boy on New York streets or something. Basically there's a, a lad and they put him in like a fucking ripped t-shirt and and they give him a sign and he's just there shivering. Is uh, this one of these public, public experiments again that people are yeah, mad about doing? Yeah, these fucking prank shit. Um, nice pranks. He, yeah. Pranks with a moral. Uh, anyway. I, yeah, because it's handy when on YouTube we get educated on how to be a human being. It's... It's... it's like, I'd rather... Well, listen, I'd rather read, like, a million racist comments <laughs> than all the nice comments that people make about this shit. <laughs> and how terrible everyone else in the world is. <laughs> you would, wouldn't you, though? Yeah, yeah. I, I'd be like, okay, your racism is based on... Yeah, because you can just dis- you, you can up. just dismiss racism. You're like, ah, that's and wrong. Plus, racism, racism means they hate like certain groups of people, but they don't think everyone else is isn't as good as them. Yeah, <laughs> in a really like superior way. I think, but that is the the nice stuff is like it's just so benign. There's nothing to it. It's disgusting. It's the way the just the way the ed- the video was made. Okay, this kid shaking, blah blah blah, and then they give it about. Maybe maybe thirty seconds of video, and then it cuts to a different angle, and you're like, "Hmm, I wonder what happened while well, they changed the angle." Maybe someone tried to ask the fucking kid on the street, shivering, "What's up?" Yeah. And 
and like every 30 seconds or every minute like I wouldn't go over to a kid that was shivering because he looks like that's a prank video plus there's a guy with a camera <laughs> looking at him why would you give that kid money yeah they're like they're obviously filming something yeah <laughs> they're probably filming one of those fucking prank videos <coughs> I just kick his teeth in and then there's a homeless guy <laughs> or homeless I'm using quotation marks there uh, but you can see him sitting against like say the kids out near the street on the path and then you can see the homeless guy lying up against the wall looking at him the whole time for the whole video and then near, and then at the end he comes around and he's like what's wrong buddy and you're like you didn't even bother to like keep him out of the shot until he, you brought him in yeah this so. guy that you either either is homeless and you and he dig over or he paid him or whatever but it's just so or he's just an actor or just whatever yeah but and the cuts every 30 seconds and people underneath are like people are terrible aren't people terrible <laughs> people just like feeling feeling great I don't want anyone feeling great about themselves on the internet that is not what the internet's for just I don't know they just make me yeah because they're not they're not real in any like way. that's that's Sam Pepper guy in my mind you know there's free speech and all that but he should go to jail just because everyone wants him there. Who? That's Sam Pepper. Oh, he, he got in trouble because he was touching girls' arses and that was sexual harassment. Um, But he's been doing, like, stupid prank... These... He did the one... He did one about, like, homeless man uh, gives pizza or will share his pizza regular people won't in which he goes around to people asks them can he have a bite of their slice of pizza and they're like, no, fuck off. Hmm. And then... They buy a pizza, give it to the homeless man, then they ask and they have a slice of pizza. And he's like, yeah, of course. And then they're like, this great homeless guy. And you're like, what? No. That's <laughs> and the people underneath commenting once again, people are terrible. Oh, isn't it such a shame, society these days. Yeah. And, and these people are getting paid to get people, large views these, on these. These people get more money than anyone. Because it shares to everybody. Making anything of a ser- like a serious production of anything. <laughs> they they're the worst. The who's another guy that I hear? There's this guy, <laughs> tech tech racks or something. <laughs> I kind of appreciate what he does. I kind of hate it. He uh, he gets iPhones. And he destroys them. That is it. In different ways, he just destroys them. And he's like, just like smashes them and doesn't just smash it or, you know, let's put a drill through it and see what happens. And then he's like, oh, look what happens with that and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, he's just a dumb cunt. Like you can tell by his <laughs> commentary that he just, he, do, he doesn't even, the thing with the drill was amazing because he like, he like drilled. And it's got stuck and in and spun no, around. No, the drill bit just fell out. He didn't, he, he didn't even engage the chuck properly. It was fucking ridiculous. Maybe oh, maybe he's doing it on purpose. Yeah, that I kind of hope it's that. But he gets like, he could get maybe two million views per video. Like he just he makes enough money to buy iPhones to destroy them. That's crazy. And he even bought the gold iPhone, the gold plated one, and like just scratched it up. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like you motherfucker. Yeah, the funny thing about the the iPhone things is because like. They are a subsidised product by um, service providers. So there's more valuable material in it than you're actually paying for. Mm. And then to destroy it is just even more lunacy. Yeah. I. It just... Whereas the whole thing is made out of r- rare earth elements. <laughs> it's, it's, they're actually called rare earth elements. Yeah, it's, it's like one of the most <laughs> spectacular... It's the pinnacle of technology at the moment. Yeah. And if people like complain about diamond mines and stuff like that, the the people that are coming in these brand new mines that that just start up to, to get these new rare earth metals, so much worse. Yeah, it must be unbelievable. Like yeah, should uh, diamond diamond mining is gonna die out eventually anyway, or soon? It's it's already taken a curve down because they're not needed for industry, and a lot of people because of artificial diamonds, and a lot of people mm. just get artificial diamonds. Yeah. There's no need to... What time are we at there? We... 54. 54. That was a quality, quality uh, 
timer. I was, uh, yeah, no, I have internal clock. Yeah. Don't Did you even shit need, or what is it? Don't even need this, um, 24 hour fucking system. <laughs> Do we have time to get into that? Yeah, go for it. I don't like time. Just, I uh, just, go on. Look, okay, so, no, this is, that'll be the next one. It's just like, why, <laughs> why I don't like time. Why is time? <laughs> Just, why is time is number five okay why why is time tune in next time for why is time yeah where we complain about one of the well, one of the, the dimensions in which we exist I'll because... give you an hour to convince me about time <laughs> it, it, it would probably take the entire hour all right uh, <laughs> bone to pick it's with 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 a dimension with with a convention oh okay right uh